Hey everybody, HD Shaves here. I'm back with another video. Uh, a few new products to talk to you about today. Let's start with the soap. This is Raconteur by Australian Private Reserve. For those of you who watched my best of 2019 video, you'll know that I voted the EDT form of this fragrance as my favorite, well, fragrance of 2019. Um, for me, it's just a beautiful, dark, masculine, cool weather scent. And uh, in this part of the country, we get plenty of cool weather and I've been wearing the fragrance ever since I first received it. And I plan on wearing it for several more months until it gets, you know, much warmer. Um, so to talk to you about the soap, this is the V2 base. Um, it's been out now for quite a while, maybe a year or so. And the ingredients, it's a tallow-based soap. Um, it also has castor oil, coconut oil, almond oil, shea butter, lanolin, and silk protein. Um, to talk to you about the scent off the tub here, it is quite strong. And to me, um, the soap reflects the fragrance form perfectly. Um, there's something, it's maybe even slightly more dark on the tub than in the fragrance, but um, definitely what people, I guess, would consider a cologne type scent. I don't really know what that means, but um, it's got notes of leather, whiskey, coffee, cedar wood, musk. I mean, just a whole laundry list uh, of scent notes. And so, yes, it is a very complicated scent as are most of APR's offerings. But for me, this is absolutely just perfect. Um, I just love the scent, um, as I've said. Um, the soap itself also performs quite well. I've been getting used to lathering it up this week. This is my first time using the soap base and I'm uh, impressed, you know, as a uh, tallow formula, it uh, does quite well. And um, I also have the matching splash, which I'll be talking about in the post shave. But anyway, that's the uh, soap for today. The other new item is this Maggard Razor uh, V3M head and this MR5 handle. Um, Maggard sells a number of their own uh, branded razors. Um, they're very competitively priced. I think you could get this whole deal right here for maybe $30 or something. Um, the V3M head, uh, the M stands for mild, and it's very much designed on the old uh, Gillette Tech razors. And if you can see under here on the bottom, uh, there is this sort of diamond pattern, which you used to see on some of those uh, vintage Gillettes. And Brad notes too that the base plate, or sorry, the uh, safety bar here, Again, very similar to how an old Gillette Tech would be, except if you can notice, it is extended a bit. So it doesn't meet flush with the, with the edge of the blade. Um, I think that's supposed to give you a little bit more protection. Um, it's certainly easier to sort of uh, touch yourself with the safety bar as opposed to the edge of the blade. And um, I'm not sure if I quite like that design. I think I'd prefer if it were just flush with the edge of the blade, but um, Anyway, this is a, this is a great um, handle as well. Um, very comfortable to hold. It is, it's got some weight to it. This is an all stainless steel handle. And uh, yeah, I had been putting off trying out this uh, V3M head. And so I'm happy to be doing it this week. Uh, finally, the brush we're gonna be using is this Simpsons Chubby 2 Synthetic Knot. Um, I used this a number of videos back. And um, yeah, this is a fantastic, synthetic option if you're looking to spend a few more bucks than you normally would on a synthetic. Great backbone on this brush, extremely soft tips. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been fun using this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and get uh, lathered up here for pass number one. Okay, we loaded for about 45 seconds and because of the color of these bristles, uh, it's a little hard to tell how much soap is actually on there, but uh, I've observed in my shaves this week that um, I've been tending to overload the soap and then having to add a bunch of water. So we'll see if uh, this is enough or uh, what the deal is. So let's go into the face lather.
Okay, that's where we're gonna start. I added water for quite a bit there. Uh, I actually cut out some of it from the lathering process. Um, but uh, yeah, this, thing, this soap can take a lot of water. So I'm gonna warm up the razor and then go in for pass one with the grain. Okay, nice first pass there. Um, I was using a vintage Persona 74 in this razor earlier in the week and it was really uncomfortable. Too sharp, uh, nicked myself a lot. And since switching to this uh, green seven o'clock, uh, the blade has been feeling a lot better for me. So I'm happy about that. Um, let's go ahead and rinse and go for a uh, lather up for pass number two. Okay, gonna roll with a thinner lather here for the second pass. Uh, that first pass was too uh, thick for me, even though I added water for quite a long time. So we'll see how this goes. Cross the grain. Really nice second pass. Um, definitely better than the first. Slickness was much improved. And uh, yeah, if you're having trouble with a new razor um, and you're not sure about the blade, which I wasn't sure about that uh, vintage persona I was using earlier in the week, um, try changing out the blade because this blade feels a whole lot better. Um, gonna rinse and then go for a final pass.
Final pass against the grain. All right, the third pass is done. Um, I think against the grain with this razor is maybe the trickiest part about it. Um, certainly some uncomfortable spots there. And um, yeah, it was all right, but not great. So gonna do my final rinses and then come back to talk to you over some post shave. For post shave today, gonna roll with the matching splash, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this is an alcohol-based splash, but it also has lots of good skin food stuff like uh, witch hazel and bark extract and things of that nature. Um, I've, this is a really great way to um, experience these APR fragrances if you don't you know, wanna buy the full bottle or uh, wear a proper EDT, EDP. Um, so I'm just gonna do a few drops here. You are definitely hit with the alcohol at first, but then quickly becomes very soothing with the witch hazel and the other items like that. Very nice. Um, while between the soap and the EDT, I don't notice anything that different in the scent notes in terms of what I'm perceiving. There is something sweeter in this splash to my nose um, kind of gives it like a coca-cola vibe uh, in a certain way kind of like vanilla coke that smell which is very pleasant um, so yeah again as i often say i do find the soaps um, to be different than their uh, splash counterparts as I, I think a lot of people do but usually the splashes are sweeter to me i'm not sure why that is uh, just across kind of a bunch of different uh, matching sets that I have. Anyway, let's do a little recap. So the soap, um, APR, Raconteur, love the scent. I mean, if you like dark masculine scents, you owe it to yourself to, to seek out the scent and get your nose on it, whether it's the soap or the splash or the EDT. Um, I think they all do the scent justice and one is not worse than the other, certainly. Um, the tallow base, uh, soap formula takes a good bit of water, but does get slick enough, um, quite slick once you add enough water. Um, the Simpsons brush, I continue to like this as a synthetic option. Uh, my only thing with this brush is the handle, really. Um, the handle looks great. I mean, it's these, you know, classic Simpson chubby designs are beautiful, but a little bit impractical to hold for me. Um, I find that I can't really hold it with my fingers like this. I end up kind of palming it a little bit and then grasping it like this. And it's not super comfortable to be honest, but the knot itself, I think it's worth the money. Um, and finally, the V3M from Maggard Razors. Um, as a lot of uh, reviewers have said, the M part of the V3M is a little bit misleading. Uh, I think it is quite mild on the with the grain and across the grain passes for me, but against the grain, it is not mild at all. Um, 
I think additionally that this safety bar thing is a little strange. And honestly, if you're a beginner and you wanna try a mild razor, why not just try a vintage Gillette Tech altogether? Um, vintage razors are never really that um, aggressive compared to modern ones. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with picking up a $20 tech at a thrift store and learning how to shave on that. So um, while I see this head's function in the marketplace, uh, it's not really for me. So nice uh, shaves this week. Again, the scent is just everything, right? If you find a scent you love, then kind of everything else takes care of itself. That's, that's sort of how I felt with the scent. So um, do encourage you to go check out Raconteur uh, if you're able. And next week, probably get back to the Rockwell 6C, something that I'm familiar with and comfortable with, and uh, a new experimental shave soap, I think, is up next on the list. So uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.